Welcome to the Mop Wanna Read Show. Today we have my sister, Tahiti Reed here. And she is a real estate agent. She, but besides that, she does many other things. A lot of it to do with the spiritual side of it. And today we're going to be talking about frequency. So that is something I feel like I just started to kind of learn about. So she's going to take us through the steps to what it is, what it isn't, and how to get it and all the good stuff. Okay, well, thank you for having me. I'm super excited to be on the Mapuana Read Show. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I've been a spectator of the Mapuana Read life for your whole life. And yeah, this is fun. So let's talk frequency. What is frequency? So I just want to put it in a way that everybody can understand. So everything is vibrating at a certain level. And that certain level is the frequency. So if you think about like a radio station, you're listening to AM and there's an FM station. Well, it's on a different frequency, right? So if you're listening to rock or something happy or something hip hop, all of those stations are vibrating on a different frequency, but yet you're, it's still a vibration, right? So everything's vibrating. So it's not something that you have to get because you're already vibrating at a certain level. So if you've ever felt like really low or depressed, that's still a vibration. That's a frequency. Mm -hmm. It's like you're just singing a sad song. Exactly, right? A sad song comes on the radio and you just start crying. You're like, I don't know why I'm crying. It's such a sad song. But you put on a happy song, your frequency changes. Mm -hmm. You're dancing, you're in a good mood. Yeah. So I want to help people shift their frequency to the highest level that their body can hold. Because what my body can hold is different from somebody else's physical body, what they can hold. Just like a fit person. In, right you see someone at the gym they've got their abs like they're super fit mm -hmm. well maybe you're not at that level yet you know what I mean for a physical vibrating frequency so where are where are you where are you vibrating at and the easiest way to find that is look around look at your life are you having positive relationships are you happy are you attracting what you want in life and if you're not well, maybe something has to shift. And this is what we teach in our course called Speaking Abundance Method is the shifts that it requires you to make in your life because everybody wants the most successful you, right? Like, oh, I envision myself. I want to be rich. I want to be traveling the world. I want the perfect partner. Well, what frequency do you have to be vibrating at to be attracting and experiencing all of those things because we came to earth not to collect things you came here to experience you came here to learn you came here to love to just experience life and so whenever i you know by the way i'm a channel also so during in our course it's mostly me channeling my my guides and they're my teachers and so what they've always said was you've come here to experience life so collect, be a collector of experiences not the things and when you start to look at life that way like wow what a beautiful adventure you're on you're not you're gonna leave this world with all of the experiences and you're gonna leave all the stuff behind so don't worry about the stuff just let the stuff go and we also don't talk about when you you know, a lot of people just look at the good stuff, right? Well, what about all of the lower frequencies that you're carrying around with you? And we all have them. That cannot come with you to where you're going, right? So if you want to be the CEO of a company, if you want to be a millionaire, if you want to be traveling the world, if you want to be fill in the blank, whatever you feel like your highest self or your, the highest vision for your life is, what part of you isn't going there? What part of you do you have to let go of mm -hmm. to say, you know what, I, this, lim this limiting belief of mine or this self-sabotaging, this procrastination cannot come with me into the new person I'm becoming. So look at your life and just see, like, where am I? Just honestly, am I in an ab abusive relationship? And am I, am I in a job that I don't like? Am I being drained? What needs to shift in your frequency? Because it's never about the other person. It's always about you. Mm -hmm. 
So sometimes I feel like, like how, how do people do it when they don't know that they're in a certain situation? So like you're in a situation and you don't really even re realize it's really that bad until one day you wake up and you're like, how the hell did I just get here? Like, how did it become like this? Like, how did I get to this point? So it's like this slow, gradual, everyday, little bit, little bit, little bit. And then before you know it, it's like, what am I doing here? Exactly. You know? And it's part of being awake and aware yeah. enough. Yeah. Be aware of your your own manna, right? Be aware mm -hmm. of your na'au. Mm -hmm. Where is your na'au taking you? Mm -hmm. Listen to it. And it is only when we don't listen to our own na'au is when we get into trouble and we veer off path. But yet, even when you veer off path, there's a learning there for mm -hmm. you. When mm -hmm. you are at your darkest moments, when you're at your lowest moments, there is learning there for you. Mm -hmm. And when you come through that, you're much stronger, mm -hmm. right? And so it's just like, you know, losing weight. Oh, okay, yeah, just have a hamburger here, there, french fries or whatever. And then eventually, oh, I gained a couple pounds. Oh, not too bad. But then a couple pounds and then a couple pounds and then mm -hmm. you don't fit in your clothes mm -hmm. anymore and mm -hmm. you're like, oh, no, I can't buy new pants. You know, mm -hmm. like... <laughs> you know, though, so. sometimes you just get so comfortable with, like, suppose you're with a partner and you're like, oh, my gosh, I love this person so much and this is who I want to be with, but then you slowly start to lose your identity, not even knowing it. So you don't even really realize that you're slowly losing yourself yeah. if you're in a bad situation or like if you're tuning into a bad frequency, you don't even realize you're listening to that shitty song until one day you're like, what in the hell? Mm -hmm. Like, how, how am I freaking here? Yeah. You know? So that's the awareness that you have to have yeah. within yourself. Yeah. Like, look around. What does yeah. my life... And be honest with yourself. Yeah. What does my life look like? Is it, is it something that... Is it an... Am I in an environment that will help me grow? Or is this what I really want? Yeah, is it what you want? And Is this you, truly, truly what I really want? Is this what I imagined my life to be? exactly yeah. okay so if someone's in a situation where they're just starting to become awake and they're just starting to be like okay is this what i really want is this not what i really want what are some things that they can do to start to tap into their frequency start deciding start to decide make choices mm -hmm. tap into your frequency you know what i'm gonna choose this how does that feel mm -hmm. tune into the feeling because your feeling is your antenna to the universe mm -hmm. that is your antenna through and through is your feeling. So once you have that feeling of, oh, I feel like I want to do this, start taking steps towards that. Because once you start thinking about it and then analyzing, then you're gonna talk yourself out of it. As soon as you mm -hmm. have the feeling, yeah. listen to the feeling, move forward. Because you always have another choice. Mm -hmm. if, it, if it's the wrong choice, okay, now you know, don't step that way. Mm -hmm. But at least you're still moving, you're not stuck. I heard this, it says, when you, have the feeling the action is now now yeah yeah and then so tapping into you, what do you want it's tapping into your now and so for those of you who don't know your now is your intuition yes you know so tapping into that and stuff yeah. tapping into your intuition is so key but the problem is so many people are so afraid what if i actually am honest and mm -hmm. say what i want am i gonna hurt people mm -hmm. Well, but, but maybe those are the people that are not meant for you. Exactly. So are those the people that want something for you or do they want something from you? Mm -hmm. Now that's a whole nother conversation, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But to get back to the frequency, if you're wanting to shift your frequency to the highest level possible, you have to let go of the slower frequencies that aren't going to get you to the higher frequency. Mm -hmm. So if you're... So if you're trying, right? If you're trying, I'm trying to get ahead. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Just tune into yourself. Take a moment and give yourself grace mm -hmm. and, and come up with your baseline. You know, like this yeah. is my baseline frequency and I'm ready to move forward and just keep yeah. going. So, so what are some things that people can do? So this is like meditation. I have a hard time with meditation because my ADHD brain is like all over the place. Yeah. So breath work. You can do breath, yeah. That breath works work. well for me. There's an app that I use. It's called Mastery, M-A-S-T-R-Y. And I, they, it, they guide you through everything. They have some that are eight minutes, some that are like a little over 20 minutes. And it's really good. It helps me stay focused. Mm -hmm. But I feel like when I come out of breath work, I am like so clear on like, okay, this is what I need to do next. This is my next step. And you feel like you can have, you have more clarity to take yeah. action, right? Mm -hmm. You feel 
confident that you can take action on what you want and it's just my next step for today so for today this is my next step that i need to do all we have is today yeah all we have is today so what are you doing today because people stress out about all the future the future what do we have today that we can push us forward to where we want to be vibrating at right in our course we have meditations channelings um, affirmations we have all of those things to help you move yourself to a higher frequency so here's an example too have you ever noticed where if you are surrounding yourself with people that you know that, you know what i i don't you know maybe i want to shift out of their frequency mm-hmm. i'm not so you're outgrowing them exactly right yeah. maybe you're outgrowing some people that are comfortable now you want to advance well the the level that you want to get to, those people vibrating on that level, they may not see you just Mm -hmm. yet, Mm -hmm. but you have to do your inner work to clear out and let go. Have you ever noticed when you are trying to get to a certain level and you found a mentor, right? You found a mentor, but they're vibrating up here because they've already walked the path that you want to walk, right? So, they're up here, but a lot of those people, since you're not vibrating at their level yet, they may not see you yet, you see? But once you start working on yourself, shedding your old skin, being open to learning new skills, then you start to raise your frequency and then you start to notice, oh, I met this person, this person had the universe is always working in your favor, positive or negative. Things and just start to flow. Exactly. Like, and it's so crazy. Things will just be like, okay, well, here it is. And here's this. And mm-hmm. here's that. And yep. yeah. You are ultimately in a relationship with the universe itself. People are looking for relationships from another person. Ultimately, you are in a relationship with not just yourself, but the universe. And when you realize that, that the universe is always supporting you, matching your frequency, but it is up to you how high or low you want to resonate in. Mm -hmm. And so if you're resonating at a higher frequency, everyone on that station will see you. Everyone on that station will see you. But if you are not vibrating on that level yet, you won't see them and they won't see you because it's called resonance. You are not vibrating on the same frequency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like being in a, it's like you're listening to a completely different, you're at a different concert. Exactly. You're at a completely different concert, listening to different music. You're not either. Somebody wants to listen to Celine Dion. Another person wants to listen to Bruno Mars. Yeah. Neither is wrong or right. Somebody it just is a hard is. rock, hard rock, you know. Exactly. So, okay. So, I think of it like you need to get in the arena. So I say this so many times, and I've said it over and over and over for the last couple of months. So you need to get in the arena. And for me, I don't care what I'm doing in the arena. I could be bloody on the ground. I could be hanging on to the ropes for dear life. But I just need to be in the arena. It is a death of me to be sitting in the stand and just watching my whole life go by. Mm -hmm. Like, I just cannot. Like, I'd rather be bloody. I'd rather have people judge me. I'd rather just be in the arena. And I think that that's part of the frequency is you got to put yourself in Mm -hmm. positions or in in the arena of where those people are at. Mm -hmm. So, like, whether it's hiring a mentor, attending a (laughs) workshop or... Like the world we live in now, there's Zoom. You could get out. There's like Zoom classes. Like everyone's Mm -hmm. teaching a Zoom class. Like Mm -hmm. just start to get into the arena of where these people are at. And I feel like you're start you're start to find your way. You know exactly. You get into the rooms where these people are. Yeah. See, you know what's happening. Open yourself up because if you're still doing the same things, you're always gonna get the same things, exactly. and you're gonna attract the same people. But yeah. if you want to attract high-level producing people, yeah. you have to shift yourself. Yeah, you have to. And if not, it's it's not gonna work because yeah. it's just energy. You just at the wrong en- concert. Exactly. Yeah. I just saw a video online where this little girl was trying to kick the ball for soccer and then 
she couldn't really do it, but she did backflips. Did you see that? She yes. just did backflips, and it said something like, "Maybe you're just focusing on the wrong thing." Yeah, right. And she was so good at <laughs> doing was, all the backflips, yeah. but she could barely kick the ball. So exactly. It's like, yeah. Like, right? where's my focus? So, what is it that you were born to do? Yeah. And start walking towards that. Yeah. Because and everything. listening to that, like like when you start getting these little hints. Start to like listen to it, like okay, so what is this? You know, what is it? Yeah. yeah. And so you know, for me, example, there's as a kid, I could always see spirits and things like that. I was always like, mm. there's something happening here, yeah. you know. And then as I, when I became an adult, I started channeling spirit, where I just like step on the side and I allow my guides to speak out of me. Do you know how much courage that took to leave my body to let someone else talk out of me? Mm -hmm. Like. I had to have so much courage to do that because I thought, oh my God, people are going to think I'm so weird or they're going to judge me. But once I started to just not even think about other people and just focus on what is my gift? What was I born here to do? And I started doing that. I attracted the people that wanted to learn from my guides. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I attracted people who were other channelers. I attracted other mediums and they're my friends, you mm -hmm. know? And mm -hmm. so, like, you, you're a photographer. You attracted other photographers, right? Mm -hmm. Families in the movie industry, they attract other movie people, right? Mm -hmm. You attract what you... What will, arena are you in? What arena, exactly. Yeah. yeah, but you need to get yourself in that arena. Yes. Yeah. So if you're in the arena of nine to five and you come home and you're exhausted and you have no energy to really live your own life... Yeah we got news for you. You got to switch arenas. You yeah. know, you got to step outside. But there's some people who love the nine to five. Like yeah. Selena, she loves the nine to five. Like it works for her and it makes her happy. She loves the stability, the consistency of it. She loves knowing that this is what I'm doing at this time. But that's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. And yeah. for me, I just think there's nothing wrong with entrepreneurship. There's nothing yeah. wrong with it's what what do you want? Yeah. And my yeah. guides always say, what do you want to experience? This is your life and it is going to go by fast. Like we're already, you know, past halftime in the game of life over here for us. Right. Yeah. So what does the third and fourth we're at quarter halftime show? <laughs> I know. right? Yeah. Beyonce just left the stage. So we're now about to what? get up on there. <laughs> yeah. Now what? Right. So what do you want to experience? What is it? Yeah. What? Be what honest. Do you want? Yeah. And I think yeah. that's one of the hardest questions people actually have to ask themselves is what is it that you want to experience? Because you can ex experience anything you want. Mm -hmm. Just start to shift your frequency mm -hmm. towards that. But it's a little bit scary sometimes to think like, what if I say it? Like, what if I say this is what I want? And then what if it doesn't happen? It's like, I think for some people it's scary to even say it because you want it so bad, but then if it doesn't happen, it's like, I said that that's what I wanted and it didn't happen or... It may not have happened exactly how you think it would yeah. be, but what if it happens even better than you think? Yeah. What if it happens mm -hmm. even better yeah, than you think? Totally. Right? Yeah. 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 A couple months ago, we were completely stressed out, right? Like, oh my gosh. We're, we're oh, sure you had, you were living in a different house. house. Like everything. Your whole life was different at Thanksgiving. Yeah, Thanksgiving. Totally yeah, different. Complete, and we, you had no clue that you would be in this situation. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. wouldn't know we we would end up here, but we absolutely let go and yeah. just trusted. And when we say let go, we let go our house, we let go everything, mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. And okay, we're, we're, we're alive, we're still here, and it looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. But I had to let go. I had to let go the part of me that wasn't coming to the new the new energy in my new higher vibrating yeah. self, in my new mindset. Those parts of me... I left there, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So decide. This is the first step is decide. What do you want? Be mm -hmm. honest with yourself. And if you're going to hurt people saying what you want, it's not their life. Mm -hmm. It's your life, mm -hmm. right? It's your life. What do you want? Because they can say what they want. And not everyone is going to walk with you on your path your entire life. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. Some will just walk halfway with you. Some will just walk 
just a short distance right. with you, but you have to be the one to continuously walk your path. Yes, yeah. walk your path. If yeah. they're coming or not coming, it's okay. Bless them. Bless yeah. them on their path because maybe for a little while your frequency's matched. And but now you it, have it to let not. them go. Sometimes you have to let people go, not in a bad way, but sometimes you have to let them only come with you just for a few miles because then you need to make room for the other people that are going to be coming yes. for the other part of the journey. Yeah. 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 And it's all good. It is yeah. all good. Yes. yes. Yeah. But your frequency, start to raise your frequency, let go of the parts that aren't coming with you. Okay. And it might be hard to let go, but just know that you're really making room for the higher vibrating experiences. Yeah. And when it starts to flow, you're going to know, oh my gosh, yeah. it's, fl it's flowing. Yeah. And do not be afraid. Mm -hmm. Do not be afraid to just keep taking that step forward, taking that step forward. It looks scary as hell, mm -hmm. but just keep going, yeah. you know, yeah. just keep going. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, um, so, so it's going to be to tap into your frequency. You first have to decide what you want. And then two is you're going to have to start to let go of the parts of you that cannot go with you to the next. Yes. You know? yeah. yeah. Those are the first two things. Yeah. 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 Decide what you want. Look around. If you don't and know. And be willing to let go. Exactly. Yeah. Be willing to let go. If it's letting go your situation, let that go. Yeah. And make room. Make yeah. room. There's so many people right now, the beginning of 2024, having life changes. Like major oh, big 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 major yes. life changes and yeah. i'm gonna give you uh, some advice here at, um from my guides is if you are stubborn and you don't want to let go it's gonna be really hard for you because you're you're not letting go and f flowing with the energy you're like oh it's always been this way no i'm not gonna change this and that if it's like that I've seen people recently have like health problems and mm -hmm. things like that. It'll manifest itself mm -hmm. in different ways. But if you are willing to open yourself up, because we're moving from a heavier energy to a much lighter energy. Mm -hmm. Well, where does the heaviness go? You have to let it go. Let mm -hmm. it go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it, once you start to free yourself of things, then you're going to notice, oh my gosh, things are flowing really good. Mm -hmm. But you have to have courage. And courage is, what do you want? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a great way to wrap this up. Yeah. Good. Okay, so you talked about your course. So if people, if people want to dig deeper into this, what's the website? Where do they go? What are all the things that they need to do? Where do they follow you at? Yep, so you can follow us at Speaking Abundance Method. Okay. And our website is speakingabundancemethod.com. Okay. Go on IG. You can click on the link in our bio. We have our book on Audible our, and our book on Amazon if you want it, you know, in, um, in your hands that you can read. But some people like, you know, listening to it too. So Audible is good. And our course is on, in the link in our bio. And we have a free shift to just get you start. We want to help as much people as possible mm -hmm. to shift into their highest self. Mm -hmm. And so you can start there with the first free shift. And that I'll has, put it in the show notes. So if they just go to that website. Yep. Speaking of abundance method. Okay, okay. And they can do the free shift. The first one for free. Yeah. We have the link in our bio okay, on our IG page and yep. And that has channel links from my guides, meditations, affirmations, and okay. it's all for free. And if you want to dig deeper and allow my guides to help you even more and you want to shift into the highest self, then you can sign up for our course too. Awesome. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you for you. being my guest as we re-recorded this a whole ton of times. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. If you enjoyed our time together, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share this podcast with your friends and family. It helps more than you know, and it allows me to bring even more amazing stories to your ears. Thank you so much for listening. And remember, every share inspires another woman on her path to becoming her best self. I'll see you in the next episode.